The determination of residence results in how the income, expenditure, and financial positions of the households and enterprises concerned are treated in macroeconomic statistics. An economy consists of institutional units that are resident in the economic territory of that economy. Most entities have strong links with only one economy, so their residence is clear. However, with increasing international economic openness, a growing number of institutional units have connections to more than one economy. Let us take a closer look at the concept of residence by using a couple of examples. We'll start with a household. Miguel is a citizen of Mexico and moves to the United States. He will become a resident of the United States if he intends to live and work in the United States for at least one year. After one year, Miguel's center of predominant economic interest ceases to be Mexico and changes to the United States. Note that he maintains his Mexican citizenship. Similarly, if a United States citizen lives and works in Mexico for a period of one year or more, they establish a new residence in Mexico. If you are a resident of Chad and travel to Botswana to visit family and friends for a period of 10 months, you remain a resident of Chad. The reason is that you are only visiting and intend to return to Chad. So, your center of predominant economic interest remains in Chad. However, if you decide to stay in Botswana to work for a period of at least one year, your status changes to a resident of Botswana. With respect to enterprises, let us take the example of Citibank. The headquarters of Citibank is in New York and is a resident of the United States. You may have Citibank branches in your countries. If you do, the branch of Citibank in your country is a resident of your country because its center of predominant economic interest is your country. Similarly, if a company in your country opens branches in another country, the branch is a resident of that country. In the cases of Miguel and Citibank, the guiding principle for determining the residence is the center of predominant economic interest. The center of predominant economic interest is the economic territory with which Miguel and Citibank have the strongest connection. For Miguel, this is his principal dwelling in the United States. For the enterprise Citibank, it is the place where it engages in significant production or pays taxes. This may be a country different from the United States.